Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayley and this is the Craig family blog. I create lifestyle and Disney style vlogs and today is a Walt Disney World vlog. We are on our 10 day countdown and I am beginning packing. I have made a start in our spare room but I'm going to bring it all through into our room that this very much is my my area. Um, I'm going to bring it all through to here because my in-laws are staying in our spare room whilst we're away. So I need to change the bedding and I need to hoover the room. So I thought I'm going to bring it all in here so I can free up that space and get that done over the next week. And I can vlog in here because it's got a bit more space. Before I get too deep into this video, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm working so hard to try and get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So it would mean the world to me if you could tap that subscription button. It doesn't cost a penny, um, but you'll just get notified as I post videos of this series. I say series of Disney vlogs. I will do travel day and then I will vlog each day whilst we're away. And I plan to upload um, two a week after we return. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. First up, I have this case from Sports Direct. I've also seen them available at places like Studio Online. Uh, it's their medium size suitcase. So it's one smaller, one larger, uh, and it was about forty pounds. It's not the greatest quality suitcase in the world, but it is fun. Um, so this is going to have our cosmetics and swimwear in. So I'm going to show you kind of what I've thrown in. Um, and hopefully help anybody else that's going. We are quite regular visitors to Walt Disney World. Um, so let me show you what I have packed. So first up, wipes. I have one in my hand luggage, which I'll show you in a bit. And I've got two in here. Uh, we ended up having to buy them at Walmart last year and they weren't cheap actually. <laughs> Grocery shopping is expensive. Um, so I'm taking them with me. None of my kids actually need wipes, but for snacks, for restaurants, all those kind of things, I'm sure you need them all the time. Um, just even just sun cream on your fingers and stuff. Then I have got this case. This is a skinny dip stitch case. It has got all of our shampoo, conditioners, dry shampoo, deodorants. So There's my razor in it. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, I've got the kids shampoo in there because they will not use mine without whinging in this East Pack case, I have got all of our um, dental hygiene items, so toothpastes and um, you know, toothbrushes, the little caps on the top. So that's all done, ready to go. I've got an empty bag. This is really useful for swimming, um, for towels and just throwing them all in when you're leaving a water park is much easier than um, trying to sort of stuff them into a rucksack or whatever. Um, I have got some bin bags for dirty washing. I don't like dirty washing to touch my case because I'm a little bit obsessive like that. Then in this case, I've got the kids swimwear. So it's got um, a two items for each child. So I got these for the boys last year in the uh, Disney store sale. And these ones this year in Primark. Emmy has got a uh, UV suit and a really cute little swimming costume. The pool in Typhoon Lagoon is really rough. Um, not the pool, the wave pool. So you can really chop up your feet. So I managed to pick these up in boots. Um, they weren't cheap, but I did get them last year in their sale, but they have got them back. I did notice that the other day. Uh, armbands, I'm hoping not to have to use those. And then yes, I've got this all in this little um, packing cube. So that's all organized. I do need to pack galvanized swimwear, but I need to try things on because I'm not sure what will actually still fit me. Um, and then in this case, I have got all of our hair accessories. So actually, and a couple of funnels, um, but I've got uh, serum because of my hair loss issues. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll know that dieting caused my hair to fall out last year. Um, so it's now all growing back and with Florida humidity, I have no doubt that I am going to look a little bit worse for wear. In the top bit, I have got nail uh, accessories, um, tweezers, and that kind of thing. And then um, a wet brush, because if you don't use a wet brush, what do you use? Uh, they're available at TK Maxx. There's loads of different ones, different characters. We have an abundance in our house. Um, I've got all of Emmy's bows. These are all made by a small business called uh, Little Magic by Joe. You can find her on Instagram or her, her, her website. Um, 
they're always really cute. Um, I'm a big fan of those. So as I've been finding them around the house, I've been putting them in here. So she's got plenty of options. Um, I just need to add a spray bottle and a couple of other bits, which I've actually got in the bed. So I'm going to pop them in now as I say. I got these delivered from Sheen this morning or Sheen. I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I filled this up to make sure that it sprays and it worked. Um, so I've emptied it again. I got some more hair bubbles because I don't know the child can lose about 20 a day and one of these little combs to do some hairstyles because I will not be paying for the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique for her at three um, but I will do my best just to try and recreate some of those amazing looks uh, for her so which would be very basic maybe a plaid um, so that's going in um, in this case it's meant to be for like wet swimming costume things but I find them really useful for sun creams so I've packed a after sun, which I'm hoping obviously never to use, but we have made that mistake there before. Had to go and buy it and it's really, really expensive. Um, I guess they know that you're kind of over a barrel a little bit. Um, I've got sun cream, which is the refill for our Solar Buddy. These are really useful for um, on the go. They've got a roller ball on, rub it on. If you haven't seen them, they're on Dragon Stand. Um, I do work with them over on my Instagram page, but I highly recommend them um, and bought them before I even had a collaboration with them. Um, and then, of course, I've picked up the Audi spray ones. I do need to pick up another one um, because I don't think one bottle will do me and Gaff for the entire two weeks. Um, but that is in there. Let's pop this some back in. Um, and then is it for this side so let me put this all back in zip the side up and i'll show you the, right, the second half so i have got one of these these go on the handlebars of a push chair now we took it last year i was thinking oh my goodness just packing all these bags that was really really useful i had everything we needed at kind of grab in the hurry stuff in here so anything from the sun creams to um our autograph book um, I'm trying to think what else we had in it. Uh, I'd often like just balance my phone in it as we were walking along. Uh, wipes, tissues, um, the park maps, all those kind of things just got, and they have little things on, and they're already on my pushchair. Um, the little, like, uh, hook. I can't think what they're called, but they go around the handlebars. They're already on there, so I can just click that straight on. It's even got one of those bits at the back for um, wipes to be quickly accessible. This uh, was gifted to me and the brand is Jijil. Um, they come in lots of colours, but I actually really love this dusky pink. It's a little bit grubby now. I have had it for a few years, um, but I absolutely love it. And then I have got three towels. Uh, these are just a uh, Matalan one from last year, the Disney home brand. We've got two Mickeys, one mini for the kids. Um, I, if I have got space at the end, I might throw in a couple more towels, but in theory, we've got some included with the hotel for that pool. We've got obviously one in the room. I don't see us needing more than three for a water park. So I just tend to dry out as you're walking around anyway. Um, in, oh, I've picked up this, which is a 12 can uh, cool bag. I got it at TK Maxx, it was 12.99, which I think will be perfect to, Hang on the buggy um, with our snacks in for the day, or it might even fit underneath because um, we only have got like a travel stroller, so the underneath isn't huge, which is why I have to utilize the handlebars as much as I can. But I picked up these in Primark for the kids, these were three pounds each, and they are just manual operated, they are not battery, which is kind of useful whilst you're away. And then I have got one that will go on Emmy's buggy, and it goes around obviously the lap bar for her so she can have that on and the, that is just charged by a lead which i've got here i have got a couple of batteries and i'll show you what they are for in a second they are double a's then this one and then i have got an adult kind of version which again is charged by the lead and then last year he bought one of these although it's getting a bit squished in the 
of the bag. Um, so it's one of those like spray ones from the park. If you're going to give in and buy one, buy one from day one. This is what we did this year. We have in past years got to like day seven and thought, oh, we're not going to get the value out of it. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave it now. But this year, we just was like, first 10 minutes in the park, buy one. The kids love it, spray down, and then a fan runs in their face and it just cools out water down. It's just, it's just really sweet. We were all having our own turns um, and the kids find it really funny spraying mummy um, because I wouldn't use any other place. I would never put up with that, um, but there I will. So that's this side. I've also got in some um, bedtime nappies as we don't want any accidents in hotel beds. So let me pack this away and I'll show you the next. I'm now going to skip on over to hand luggage. So Amelia has been sent this, um, which is a Jet Kids bike, and I'm going to say stocky, but I might have pronounced that wrong. It is their real long um, suitcase. And although I'm not actually keen on the whole process of the wheeling thing, because you'll have a push chair um, until we literally board, although at MTO Airport, your buggy doesn't come back for a while, so actually it might come, come in handy at that point. But... I love the fact that it turns a normal chair into like a elongated bed for them. Um, and she was really uncomfortable on our previous flight. She was two last time, so she had her own seat, but she just couldn't get comfortable. Um, we went with Tui, and actually for us, we all rated it really highly, but for her, she just she couldn't see the TV. The screen was at an angle that she just had a blank screen. She just could not get herself in a suitable position. So, um, wasn't the most enjoyable flight to take her on but the idea is lift it up slightly to show so you, this is um, high adjustable so you would and it locks in when you get it so you get it to the place where it matches the the extension so it becomes their footrest and inside it um, comes with all the bedding that you need um, to like put it onto the chair to make it all nice and comfy and obviously the smaller the child uh, the more you can make it into a bed for them but that just like makes it a little bit more comfy for them and then in this I have filled it with her hand luggage items um, that I could fit in it there are some things that are gonna have to go into mine because it obviously once you take out this it doesn't it doesn't leave you with the biggest amount of space let me show you so um oh, i love these little like um zip, zip bag type things um or zip wallets so i filled them with like crayons i've picked up i will probably do a closer video of just what i've got in my kids hand luggage um but there is like things i picked up from primark i've seen a few little um, tricks so she's we're going to take a an ipod with her this time so she can have that so i've got one of these little balances so she can have that on the table um so she can draw and watch something at the same time we saw this little um nifty tool which clips on i can't remember how but it does it goes it hooks onto the tray i think maybe that goes all the way yep um and you can hook it onto your tray and then it when it's on the upright position and then you can clip the phone in there so we've picked up one of those again they were both from um tiktok shop i think maybe like two quid each something like that anything just to get us through nine hours um but some more crayons some stickers um that kind of thing so that's all in there oops and then the zip that up a bit of zip up i might have to do that for camera um i've got one of these like little draw boards it's got a little book um i think I think I picked this up at Costco, but I, I can't swear by it. <laughs> it might have been. Um, so these are all TK Maxx, so I got these all in the sales. So I've got a couple of stick books, um, which I'm sure will just go around the kids, but I've tried to just give them a few each and then they can pass them around. Some of these are all like whiteboard ones with the whiteboard pens already in it, um, and she can do some of those. She, I, she was sent this. Um, or picked up at a fair that we've been to so that's like a handwriting thing and another one of those draw packs and then another one of these i put in some little mini characters there are like frozen and um encanto characters so we can do a little bit of playing with those as well she likes having things that she can sort of be tactile with um so i'm going to do this up and then i'll show you the next thing next up i have the boys hand luggage so we are taking one of the american tourists Tourista ones. Um, they 
are in our Costco for about £50. They are built to last. They are a much more solid case. There's, there's not much pushing them in, but they are the perfect dimensions for hand luggage, which always is really useful. Um, last year, we bought too much whilst we were there and couldn't fit it all in the cases that we took. So this actually went into sort of the main hold, um, which was really useful. So um, we always have plenty of like things that we can use as hand luggage, but obviously not anything that we can use mainly for um, main hold luggage. So um, this will be shared between the boys. There's only one each. Um, well, at the moment they don't, because we will have other things in ours. Um, so they've got one of these things each. They will, um, they were absolutely super stuck on our last flight. <laughs> we let them do some watching TV and stuff for the first couple of hours, and then we brought out their switch. I literally, they sat and played the switch for the next seven hours. Um, so they're as good as gold. And then I've done them again, the same kind of packs in there. They've got some Scooby Doo, some Moon Bands, um, and things like that. And then they've got a couple of these kind of books too. Oops. Um, so that's all in there. Um, but, oh, and little like mini packs of Lego and things like that. Again, I can show you more up close if anyone's interested in what a pack of this hand luggage um, in a separate video. But I'm just doing a kind of quickie run through. And then I have got, drop off all these bits. I have got the Minnie Mouse equivalent. We actually have four of these in total, but I'm not taking all four, obviously. Um, I had them for Disneyland Paris because I'm knowing the measurements. Um, I could use them on an easy jet flight. And me and the kids had one each when oh, I took the kids away. Um, so, oops, let's spin this round. So this is currently mine, and I've just got the kind of bits I've thrown in for now. Um, so I've got one of these like cubes at the minute, which I'm sure I can find something best for because it's not, not, obviously not very firm with all my leads and tripod um, and those kind of things in. So I've got a ring light, which is actually really cute. My dad picked me this up from Walmart last year. So that's in there. Um, I've got a plug that's got the four USBs. So I always find in hotels they never have enough plug sockets for the amount of devices and things we have so this is obviously quadruple in it instantly so i've got this i do need to find out my american plug converters though um and then some more leads because of course we've got gas on lightning i'm on usb c the kids things um uh lightning and then all my like that light that I've just shown, all the little batteries, they're all not micro USB. Um, last year, I had real issues with my camera cover for my phone. Um, it got really condensation-y and I couldn't see out of it, but then I didn't want to take it off so that it wasn't protected. So this time I'm taking a backup with me to protect that. Um, and then plenty of leads are going in there. That will be a growing collection of stuff. I know that. Um, I actually picked up this for the boys the other day, which I thought was quite cool. Uh, make your own foam mosaic. I thought they can take two of those each and it's like little stickers they have to put onto the boards. Um, so I'm going to throw it into their one now. Open. Um, I've got wipes because plain. Uh, um in this one i have got all of our important items so this has got our passports um our travel documents coins from that remaining from our last trip i've got motion sickness tablets here um so that is like vitally important i know <laughs> as soon as i go to leave the house gavin will take this off me and he will take full responsibility because he knows i'm useless with being in charge of anything so he'll take that off me um but for now it's here i can pretend that i've got responsibilities i've got in emmy's headphones because they definitely won't fit in her case um but these are just a bit more comfy for her um anything just to try and appease her this time rather than having her whinge for that many hours this time i have got a bum bag this is another one of these east pack brands that I've shown you a few things of already. Um, I absolutely adore them. Those items were all gifted. I did pay for this one myself um, because I just love it. 
I think they're really useful if you're um, maybe just going back to the park for just the evenings. You don't need to take all the drinks and all those kind of things. Maybe just going back to like Fantasmic. Um, just to have your valuables in this. It gets you through security so much more quick quickly. Um, but you don't need all the other accompaniments to go with you. So um, I'm going to take that with me. Um, but also for the plane, why I've got it in this kind of suitcase is because once we get through um, security, I tend to take because you only land obviously one bag, I tend to take my valuables, put them in this and still roll my case. Um, if they want me to put it all back together again, I have, I can fit it in, but equally I do prefer to have my important documents on me and then to roll my case along. Um, my kids are obsessed by Pez. I don't know if anyone else's kids are quite as obsessed as mine, but I think those, these refill packs are like 150 each, something like that. Um, for, so you get six packets for like 150 in the range. So I picked up two of these. This is Emmy's one that I've so far got together. I've got to find the boys out. Um, and that will keep them busy, particularly Emmy, because then I can fill it up and she can do her one at a time. Um, and that would probably give me an extra 10 minutes <laughs> of, of time. Um, she's not a big sweet lover, so you can just tell it's just the process. It's not in that. She likes flumps. Um, so I have got some flumps. Um, we are marshmallow band. Um, she won't eat these, but I like milk bottles. I'm going to try and make those little snack um, trays up for the kids. They've got a little bit of everything. Because if I was to give them that, the boys are such pathetic eaters. They will never, never finish. I've got some lollies for takeoff and landing. This has got ten in, so that should give us one each for both ends. I've got a five pack of buttons. I'm going to get some popcorn. I'm going to get some Pringles. I'm trying to think what other things I've got on my desk. Um, but lots of like little snappy things that I know my kids will eat because they probably won't eat airplane food. And I don't blame them because I probably won't either. I will go to like Boots or WH Smith, get myself a meal deal sandwich. But again, they're not really that fussed on that either. Um, so we'll probably get a few bits together there and then just sort of make do throughout the flight and just move stuff around. In this sippy, I've got our sunglasses um so once we get to the other end as soon as we get in the car i'm sure the kids will be nagging so i've got them straight at hand he's got these really cute um encanto ones i think they were from h&m um the boys have got these ones which are like marvel ones they were from primark i think these were one pound fifty which is an absolute bargain um and then my ones i picked up in tk maxx the other day they possibly even still have the tax on um oh no i did actually take them off they are o'neill um, and I'll probably take at least another pair because I am a little bit clumsy when it comes to losing my sunglasses in places. Um, I have got tissues, plasters or band-aids as we'll, we'll get when we get there and myself some headphones and I purely picked up my own ones because I know the flight of Virgin they'll probably will supply them but these have got tiny little ends on them which will go in my ears better I really find the other ones just don't go deep enough and I really struggle with my ears on planes anyway from severe pain um so anything to try and just disturb that or I can block it out a little bit the better um so that's my suitcase and then I'm going to take my East pack backpack rolled up in that case as well. Um, I literally live live in this case. Um, this is what I use for most weekends out with the kids. It's got a, a pocket at the back, um, which is really good for valuables oh, wow. because then that is touching me. No one's going to get to that. And then at the front, it's got a big front pocket, which I tend to have like wipes and stuff in that I need to grab at ease. Um, inside, it's got a sort of a it's not um, zip up or anything, but it's a section at the back that I know that will keep that stuff away from there. Um, I just really like it. Oh, it's got side pockets for drinks. We've got quite a few different designs from them, but this is my favourite design and um, it is 100% coming with us. So I'm putting that in. Um, and on a day-to-day -day basis, this is what I would usually take out with me in my rucksack, but I need to go through it, which has got things like, you know, Nurofen, Cowpole, Emmy Spent, knickers and trousers. Um, I always take a Germaline out with us because you never know. I always have a Vaseline um, bags for either wet clothes or um, travel sickness because we are 
the greatest track record of a family and some wipes and things like that. So I need to go through this and see what I'm allowed to actually take on the plane with me. Um, and then probably pack it because um, you can guarantee if I don't have it, I need it. I think it's a 100ml limit, which obviously one of these are. Again, I don't know if these are new. Um, I don't think they are. So I'm going to find out some new ones and probably take them with me. Gav will have a rucksack as his hand luggage. He'll be fully responsible for his. <laughs> I do me and the kids and he just does with him. Um, I have got a few things that I've got to do regarding clothes. So I've got these t-shirts on Amazon for the boys and I've got these um, iron-on wilderness explorer badges. So I'm going to um, iron them onto that. So that's one of my, on my to-do list. The, I packed, oh, I'll show you in a second, some hats for the kids and now the boys want to take these ones too. So I'm going to make them wear them as their plain outfit. So up here they've got, um, I'll sh probably show you close up in a second, but they've got, oh, let me pull one down. I've got these in Primark with little comfy trousers. They were reduced to something like oh, three, four quid. Um, but nice and comfy for the aeroplane. Emmy has got this little daisy duck pair, again Primark. Um, I think these were maybe three pound in the sale. Uh, I know they'll be hot once they get there, but it's just nice to be comfy on the plane, especially when the air conditioning's on because it can get a bit chilly. And then this is inside out, but I've got my spirit jersey, um, which I'm going to wear there. And um, I'll probably just go with leggings or something really comfy myself for the plane. Um, so I then got these cases. These cases came from Primark last year. My beautiful friend Alice managed to hunt them down for me. I went on a big hunt. I tried so many stores, could not find them. And she lives in Somerset and she managed to find two for me. So bless her, she she had a push chair and two um, suitcases to get back to her car. But they're not the you know the best suitcases in the world. They're not, they're not very thick built. Um, but they did one trick, and I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping they'll survive another. Um, I do think the trick with them is to make sure that they are very full, so they haven't got much movement in them, um, in which I don't tend to struggle too much with that requirement. Um, I haven't done too much of the outfits yet, uh, because we're wearing stuff, I'm washing stuff, etc. But things that we don't need at the minute, I've got caps um, for the kids. I'll show you those. I've taken two each because we all kept mislaying them last time, so um, I'm taking plenty, plenty. So I've got these ones for the kids, which I've got this design on. They are from the same person that makes the bows, which is Little Magic by Joe. And then I've got these ones. I don't know if it's got the brand on it, um, which the kids have had a couple of years, but they always wash up in the washing machine really well. So the boys have got these ones. Um, they are from a, a brand called Essential, um, which do lots of like essential caps. They do lots of caps um, and in the winter they do woolly hats. Um, so I've got those, um, which again, throughout the year, I, as soon as I order from like Sheen or like that, you get those little bags. Uh, I hold on to everything so I can reuse them for trips like this, so keep everything together. And um, if, if you've got twins, you'll probably know this. If you've got two pairs of shoes, you will find three out of four shoes because that's just life. Um, I don't understand it, but I don't have the same issue with my daughter, but with the boys, um, we've always had it where they um, will just have a part of something. Something will always be missing. Um, I started off saying no fancy dress for Amelia. And this is where we're at. So I've got a packing cube with lots of outfits in. She got really upset telling me that she wasn't going to dress up as a princess and stuff like that. It made me feel really guilty. So I've got them all in here. I've also got this white one here, which is the skirt that goes underneath any fancy dress outfit. Um, it lights up. So I've got those. I need to make sure that I've got uh, spare batteries for it as well because it doesn't last very long. And then because I couldn't put them in, her wings are in here too. Um, I'm just hoping Gav doesn't see because he will talk me out of taking all these in. But when she started like, oh, please. And then could picture like her and her Jasmine outfit in Morocco and Epcot. Um, so yeah, she sucked me in. I didn't need too much persuasion. Um, and then in this one, I've got all of our raincoats, um, which is in a, a swim bag, obviously. Disney vibes, Jessie. Um, but I've got those. Last year we bought a poncho that went, we kind of did it over Emmy's buggy because although she does have a rain cover, the, 
when it when it storms it storms therefore um it was blowing up all over the place so we just use this as like an extra coverage for the back um because if we had a rucksack on the back of it the rain cover doesn't touch it it literally just does pass the hood of it um so the rain cover again i've got in one of these packets i won't risk obviously losing it um whilst the buggy's taken off us so i've got it separately i keep this actually in my car like this so these are one of these cases that you get a kid's fancy dress outfit in um, but I actually keep it in my car because when it's damp and it touches the bottom of my boot, you probably now know that I don't hear it very often, um, but it sticks like there's little sand bits and it, it all always gets stuck on that. So um, I keep that in my boot like that anyway, but that's all to go because we will have storms when we're there. Like don't, don't be uh, under any illusion that there won't be any thunderstorms because there will be, you will, you will get wet at some point, but it's the best kind of rain. Like. In England, I hate rain. Today is like the greyest day ever. I've got the lights on. It's mid-May and it's miserable. Um, but we will we'll get there. Uh, we have, the kids have been sent these t-shirts from the Disney store. We are Disney store and brand ambassadors. Um, so we get little parcels every so often. Um, and I thought, how fun would it be to wear these on an Epcot day um, and get a photo in Paris? Um, because we haven't got any plans to go to Disneyland Paris this year. It's been 18 months since we went to Disneyland Paris. We went December 18 months ago. Um, so Emmy's got a little one too. But yeah, I thought that'd be really cute. So I'm going to take those. And I've taken them to one side because they might as well have them from you. Um, and because I haven't got quite enough bags on this trip. But for shopping and stuff, these things are quite useful. I picked up this one. Um from a phone case company, um, which is called, I think it was called Love Cases. Um, I just really like the design on it, but it was kind of Disney snacks-esque. Um, so I've got that. So I've got anything up here? No, just, oh, and then over here is my lounge fly. Now I will try and squeeze that in my hand luggage because um, although it's replaceable they are quite expensive and it's so beautiful it's the um usually the birthday one so it's got the part in that but i just think it's so extra um which you kind of need and it'll go with all my outfits i was trying to debate of which one's behind me to take last year i took my marvel one which i had loads of compliments about um this one is the donut snacks one i think i took that one as well last year i think i took two um, I convinced Gaff that I needed both. Um, and then right at the top, I don't know if it's out of camera, I've got the Walt Disney World like fireworks one, which is beautiful. Um, I just couldn't decide. So this is what I've gone for. Um, and I'm gonna probably just fill it with maybe the things in my hand luggage that I'm gonna need quickly. And then that can go on the overhead locker. So I'm always thinking of how I'm gonna make this work um, and justify to Gaff. <laughs> Because he is a minimalist packer, he will have maybe five pairs of shorts and a t-shirt for each day and he'll be fine. Um, whereas I'm a 14 pairs of shorts, maybe two for spare, um, lots of t-shirts, but we'll come back on more. Because <laughs> I'll also buy stuff whilst we're there. But I prefer to be prepared and overpack. <laughs> um, but yes, um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to show you everything I packed like clothes wise because I'm not at that point yet um and I would really like to do some outfit of the days videos whilst on my on my vlogs I will show you each day what we're packing uh what we're what we're wearing of that day for which theme park we're going to um obviously I'm pretty sure you gathered by like the wilderness explorer things I'm trying to theme them a little bit it's I'm not going like full Disney bounding but um I'm going to try and make a little bit of effort to try and get the kids, um, not particularly myself, but the kids to be in theme with the location that we're going to. So if you got to the end of the vlog, thank you so much. Please do give me a little thumbs up and hang around to watch my future videos of our days in the parks. See you soon.